In this video, we'll reveal the locations of all the larval tiers in the Elden Ring. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating Elden Ring content. All right, let's dive right in. To get the first larval tier, head to the Ag Hill Lake south side of Grace in the Limgrave region. Upon arrival, follow my lead to find a rune bear disguised as an undead soldier. Here is the soldier. Attack him to reveal the rune bear. You'll get the larval tier once the bear is killed. Now, to obtain the next larval tier, we need to go to the village of the Albanarix in the Lyurnia of the Lakes region. Move to the marked location on the map. After reaching here, move west to reach the village of the Albanarix. Now, activate the Sight of Grace at this shack and follow me to the graves. Pick up the larval tear from the corpse here. Now move to the Academy Gate Town Sight of Grace from where we need to go to this marked location. Follow me to reach the marked point. At this spot, we need to kill the Grafted Scion boss to obtain a larval tear. The Grafted Scion will be disguised as a lobster. Once you reach Boil Prawn Shack, fight with the Grafted Scion disguised as a lobster and retrieve the Larval Tear. Move on to the next larval tier, which will be obtained after solving the resurrection painting in the artist shack in the Lyurnia of the Lakes region. Upon arrival, examine the painting, then head to the Behind Caria Manor Grace location.
Once you reach here, head slightly southeast until you arrive at a graveyard. From here, take the southwest path to the Artist Spirit. Get close to it and then pick up the larval tier with other useful items. Next, we will have to buy a larval tier from Pitya. Carrion Servant near Ronnie's Rise in the Lyurnia region. Head to the marked point on the map. Once here, follow me in the south direction. Now drop down to the building and then go down further using the wood planks. Now enter the Karia Manor from this hole. Interact with the Pitya, Carrion Servant, and purchase the Larval Tier against 3,000 runes. Please, chew. In case he is dead, give his ball bearing to Twin Maiden Husk. Now head to the Kalid Highway South site in the Kalid region to obtain the next larval tier from a troll disguised as an undead soldier. Once here, follow me to the Mark Point 1 in the south direction. Now attack this soldier to reveal a troll. <laughs> Defeat the troll boss and he will drop a larval tear. Following ahead to the rampart side path side of grace in the Altus Plateau region to get the larval tear from the Lion Guardian disguised as an undead soldier. Upon arrival, follow me to the marked point one in the north direction. Now attack this soldier to reveal a Lion Guardian. Defeat the Lion Guardian boss so that he drops a larval tear for you.
Now move to the Road of Iniquity site in the Mount Gelmir region. Once here, move in the east direction to encounter a colossal worm face disguised as a charred corpse. Upon killing this massive enemy, you'll be rewarded with the Larval Tear. To get the next Larval Tear, head to the Inner Consecrated Snowfield site in the Consecrated Snowfield region. Upon arrival, move towards the east to fight the Rune Bear disguised as an undead soldier. Now attack this soldier to reveal the rune bear. Defeat the rune bear so that he drops a larval tear for you. Next, move to the Worshipper's Woods site of Grace in the Siafra River region. Once here, follow my lead closely to reach the abandoned merchant.
Now, buy a larval tier from this merchant against 3,000 runes. Goodbye. Till next time. After that, move to the Nocron Eternal Sight City's Site of Grace. Upon arrival, follow my lead to get another larval tier. The next larval tier is also in the same region. Now return to the Nocron Eternal City's Site of Grace and head outside in the east direction to reach the larval tier's location. Now, pick up the larval tier from this corpse. To obtain another larval tier, we need to defeat the Mimic tier boss as it drops the larval tier. This boss can also be found in Nocron, the Eternal City. Follow me to reach the boss arena, as I am starting from the Nocron Eternal City's Site of Grace. Now get yourself ready before transversing through the mist. Kill the Mimic Tear with the help of Black Knife Tish and have your hands on the Larval Tear.
now moved to the ancestral wood site of Grace in Nokron City. Once here, follow my lead closely to the large inanimate ball in Night's Sacred Ground. Now eliminate the massive ball to retrieve the larval tear. After collecting this larval tier, head to the Noxtella, Eternal City site of Grace. Upon arrival, head upstairs in the west direction. Now pass through the balcony and continue going further up. Navigate through the walkways until you encounter the inanimate ball. Eliminate this ball to obtain a larval tear. Follow my lead to reach the location of another inanimate ball. Now destroy this ball and all of the substances with it to get a larval tear.
to get back to the Noxtella Eternal City Site of Grace. Upon arrival, follow my lead closely to find one more large and animate ball. To defeat the ball and obtain the larval tier, follow the strategy I'm going to show. Go inside the hall and then hide in a corner. As the ball blocks you, start quick and heavy attacks until the ball's health bar is depleted. After killing the ball, pick up the larval tier. And there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your feedback in the comments. Until next time, happy gaming.